Hi everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today's lesson is on Pascal's Triangle. Fancy name, but this, I actually like this one. It's, it's kind of fun. I know, math, fun, they're not supposed to be fun. Well, whatever. I think this is fun mostly because it makes something that looks very complicated and very difficult very, very simple. This is what we're dealing with. Let's say your teacher said, I want you to do X plus Y to the power of three. You go, okay, all right, I, I can handle this, right? Because I did, you know, I know the little short hand way for doing, you know, X plus Y times X plus Y, you know, it's an X plus Y squared. I know the pattern that it turns out to be X squared plus two X Y plus Y squared. I know that. Okay. And then I just need to multiply that move over. I don't know why it likes doing that times. Oh, come on times X plus Y. That's all I need to do. Okay. So I do X times X squared. All right. That's X cubed. Then that is all right. Two X squared Y. All right. And that is X Y squared. Okay. Now for the Y's that's X squared Y. That's oh two X Y squared. And then that's Y cubed. Okay. So now I just have to, you know, redo combine some like terms. We've got some X squared Y's and X Y squareds. Okay. I got this. So then it's X cubed plus three X squared Y plus three X Y squared plus Y cubed. You go, Whew, okay. That was a little painful, but I did it. And then your teacher goes, okay, cool. Good for you. That's great. You're awesome. Now do X plus Y to the power of nine and you go, what? Well, fortunately for you, Monsieur Pascal has come up with this really simple, really easy way to do this. First, I want you to look at just the coefficients of the different things we have here. So, okay, starting with X plus Y, what are the coefficients in front of this? And let's see, what color can we put them in? I'm going to put it in rainbow here got one X and one Y. All right. Now when I squared those, which was in this little step right over here in yellow, what were my coefficients there? I had one X squared plus two X Y. I think this would have been better if I did it in black. Don't you? I think so too. I'm so glad you agree with me, anonymous internet person who I can't actually hear. And then the last one is going to be one Y squared. And then our final one, we had one X cubed. This is our final when we did the next level, one X cubed plus three X squared Y plus three, zoom out a little bit. I always want to run out of room. I just, I write too big. I know this about myself. Three X Y squared plus one Y cubed. And you're probably going, wow, that's great. You rewrote some things. Good, good for you. There was a pattern here that Mr. Pascal observed that he figured out. So this up here is X plus Y to the power of one. This is X plus Y squared. This one is X plus Y cubed. And if I did X plus Y to the power of zero, that would just be one because anything to the power of zero is just one. And he noticed he looked at just the coefficients. And he saw something interesting. Now I'm going to scoot these over a little bit just so you can see. There we go. He saw this pyramid emerging. 
And look at this. So okay, so I start with one, one, one up at the top. Then I have all down the left and right side are all ones, all the way down. But what's happening in the middle? Here I have one plus one is two. One plus two is three. Two plus one is three. Ha uh ha! -huh. This pattern keeps on going. It just does. So our next one, x plus y to the fourth, we have our ones on the end. Then we have one plus three is four. Three plus three is six. Three plus one is four. Next one, x plus y to the fifth. Okay, I write my ones on the outside. One plus four is five. Four plus six is ten. Six plus four is ten. Four plus one is five. This always works, and it gives you your coefficients. Pretty cool, huh? And pretty simple. Well, what's the other part of this? Is we need to know what the exponents would be for, you know, for the um, the variables that are going along with this. Well, here's how you do it. Because look what's happening here. I'm going to write it out again. This one, of course, was just x plus y. This one was x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. This one was x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. And here's the pattern. So, okay, so here's an x squared, then an x, then no x. And what's happening with the y's? y squared, y, no y. You're going to start with whatever power it is on both sides and then work down, like working backwards. By which I mean, see here's an x, this is a cubed. So on this side, I start with an x cubed, the first one cubed. This side, I start with y cubed, and then I'm going to work my way down. So I have x cubed, then x squared, then x. For the y's, I have y cubed, y squared, y, and nothing. So let's try x plus y to the fourth. I know my coefficients are 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Let's scoot over a little bit. I know, I can't zoom out anymore. Hey, there we go. I can. Ha <laughs> ha, it lied to me. It told me I couldn't zoom. All right, I'll zoom if I want to zoom. One. Okay, so it's to the fourth. So that's what I'm going to start with. X to the fourth. Next one is X cubed. Next is X squared. Then X, then nothing. Then I do my Y's. Y to the fourth. Y cubed. Y squared. Y nothing. And that's the pattern. Same with this one, like x to the fifth. You know, you've got your coefficients. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. I start over on the left. x to the fifth, then I write x to the fourth. x cubed, x squared, x, and I wrote them too close together. And nothing. Then I start on the far right. y to the fifth, then y to the fourth, then y cubed, then y squared, then y, then nothing. And you can do this forever. So this is very straightforward. It's very, you know, very simple once you see the pattern. It's really easy to apply. The only couple of things to be careful of, to be wary of, is when they make it a little more complicated as to what's inside. So for instance, if I have this pattern and I say, okay, instead of x plus y squared, it was going to be 2x plus Five squared. Well, what does the pattern say? It says I take the first term and I square it. The middle one is two times both terms multiplied together, and the last one is this y squared, the second term in the binomial squared. So it would be 2x squared plus 2 times. 2x times 5 plus 5 squared. See, I'm just plugging those in. This is what, you know, I'm plugging this 2x in 
wherever there's an X in that little pattern. And I'm plugging the 5 in wherever there's a Y in the pattern. And if this were a negative 5, same thing. I would plug in a negative 5 in for those Ys. So let's say I'm given the problem where my teacher wants me to say 2x plus 3y to the power of 4. Actually, let's make this a little more interesting. Let's say minus 3y to the power of 4. I go, okay, well, let me do my little Pascal's triangle. It's to the power of 0, power of 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. I add 3, 3, 1, 1. I add 4, 6, 4. Okay, so I know the pattern I'm going to be following, following is, and I'm going to refer to this as like A plus B to the power of 4, so I don't have X's and Y's muddying things here. So if it was a plus b to the power of 4, it would be, according to Pascal's triangle, I would have my coefficients of, um, of 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Again, these are the powers over here. That's not part of the triangle. Just make sure of that. And I would have a to the fourth, a to the third, a squared, and a. And then I go, okay, b to the fourth, b third, b squared, b, and that's my pattern. That's the pattern I want to follow. So my a is 2x in this case, and my b is negative 3y. So we're going to plug all these in. So first I have my a is 2x, I'm going to put that to the power of 4. Then I'm going to add 4 times, again my a is 2x to the power of 3 times negative 3y. Next one is going to be 6 times, my a is 2x squared times negative 3y squared. I try to write small. It just does, doesn't happen. I am not a small writer. Plus 4 times 2x is my a times negative 3y to the power of 3 plus last but certainly not least negative 3y to the power of 4. All right, so this is just, again, being very, very careful. So 2x to the power of 4. I'm going to do 2 to the power of 4 and x to the power of 4 because that's what's happening. It's 2x times 2x times 2x times 2x. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 to the power of 4, that's 16. And x to the power of 4 is just x to the fourth. Next one. This is, I'm going to do each one individually first. 2x cubed, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. That's 8x cubed. And then times a negative 3y. I'll come back to it, but I'm just doing it step by step. Next one is 6 times 2x squared. 2x squared is 4x squared. And then negative 3y squared, negative 3y times negative 3y is positive 9y squared. Next one, 4 times 2x times negative 3y cubed. Negative 3 cubed is negative 27. And then y cubed is just y cubed. And then last but not least, negative 3y to the power of 4. Negative 3 to the power of 4 is 81. And y to the 4th is just y to the 4th. All right, next, go around. So I've got 16. Wow, that's a little too heavy. <laughs> 16. Still, oh my goodness. 
16 x to the fourth. 4 times 8 times negative 3 is negative 96. And I've got my x cubed and my y. Alright, next one. 6 times 4 times 9. Ooh. <laughs> 216? I need to check that. 4 times 2 times negative 27. Oh, goodness. I should have done this before I started writing it, shouldn't I? So I wouldn't be sitting here trying to do this frantically in my head at the same time. Wait a minute. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's, two, it's negative 216. I'm easily amused. So then I've got my x and I've got my y cubed. And then 81y to the fourth. And they're all set. That's, that's it. You can't simplify any further. It's already, you know, combined like terms. You're all good to go. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.